So this is day 60 of Make Your Habit Strong and in diving into the Law of Attraction I decided to follow my highest excitement today. So what that meant was I had this rigorous program I was in, it was three days, I got uh, the most or maximum, you know, the gist of it in the, in the two days that I did it. Day one was amazing, answered a lot of questions that I had and filled in a lot of gaps for me. Day two wasn't feeling so great. The information was 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 um, invaluable, but I felt like I received everything that I needed to receive and then I was feeling really like I didn't want to do that portion anymore. And so, I think the operative word there is feeling. <laughs> so today, I said, you know what, I'm just going to follow my highest excitement, and I'm probably not going to do it. I went out this morning and ran some errands, and was just feeling good. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I may not do it, and then uh, it's very long. So the afternoon came and went, I was like, I could check, I'm like, mm, yeah, you know what, I didn't even have to think about it anymore. Once I decided that, okay, I'm good, I have enough information, um, I have more than I needed, uh, then I no longer needed to like pursue it. I thought about it a couple times, but I don't even think I needed to think about it a couple of times. So in keeping with the law of attraction, I have um, my lesson. Everything always comes back to me because I'm always seeking answers. So... <laughs> It says like learning to understand the basics of mathematics and then having a successful experience of understanding the results of their applications. Once you have a formula for understanding your world that is always consistent, it will yield consistent results to you. And the message is a consistent formula gives me consistent results. A consistent formula gives me consistent results. So as I'm looking back over the past few years, and this is law of attraction related. This is how the law of attraction works. You move into a space. If it doesn't, if it feels good, then it's good for you. If it does not feel good, then it's move on to something else. And so that's what I did. And yeah. So I just have to learn not to even question it. Because there's more of an emotional attachment to the speaker. That's why I was like, oh, I don't want to like not be there but really that was it and sometimes that happens I found that um, I think last year there was a speaker that I'd been with for several years and that I learned so much from and then I knew it was time to move on but there was an emotional attachment to the speaker and I said I was I felt like almost guilty or I felt this emotional attachment, almost like I would be disloyal if I moved on. Then he actually gave a talk about um, when it's time to move on. Move, you know, the, the when the teacher, when the student is ready, the, the the master will appear, and when it's time to move on, move on. And he specifically said, even if it, even if it's time to move on from me, and that kind of gave me the permission to like go and seek other speakers and counselors and opportunities and things like that so all of this is just a reminder to me um, that this is life and this is the journey in that I can rely on my internal guide which is my feelings and my intentions to navigate my life so so far like I said over the past couple of years when I think about different events that were like something that I had to really contemplate about um, my feelings and my intentions governed my decisions in a way that worked out in my favor and so that's part of the law of attraction and what I want to continue to do so that is my message to myself for today a consistent formula gives me consistent results and I read this this morning and I didn't quite get it and now I get it. And that's okay. Because I think at 2 o'clock in the morning, our mind is more quiet. And it's more peaceful. And it is an easier time to connect with 
with the universe. It's an easier time to connect with God. Your, for my mind, is more quieted. And so, yeah. Oh, because this is this is when these revelations, if you want to call them, um, come to me. Because I'm asking earlier in the day, and my mind is also going and thinking about so many other different things. And yet in the middle of the night, sometimes I take a nap to rest to calm my mind or do different things. Um, meditate, which I did do. Um, and sometimes I just have to wait it out. I never have to wait more than a day, though. But <laughs> these things come to me at 2, 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning. <laughs> Um, which is good as long as it comes to me. So I appreciate this day and I appreciate this moment. And I will continue to remember that a consistent formula brings or yields consistent results. And just know that and understand that. And remember that I am in this experience, in this human journey, and I cannot get it wrong. <laughs> I'll never get it right and I cannot get it wrong. So... That is my message for myself today, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow. My feelings are like, eh, if I didn't have to go to work, that would be even better, but I do have to go to work. Well, I don't have to. I'm going to go to work. And so, but I'm feeling good. So, let me get to sleep. <laughs> Day 60, so that's like two months in this four month journey. So this is this is interesting. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Cherokee signing off. Make your habits strong. Have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow.